everyone. I just want to give a quick FYI. As far as subscription goes, I'm finding that I'm being unsubscribed from channels that I watch on a daily and weekly basis. So something very weird is taking place again. While you're here, just take a look at the subscribe button. Does it show that you can subscribe? Then you've been unsubscribed. So just a heads up, everybody, please take a look at your status. And if you need to hit the bell so that you get a notification when my videos come up so that you don't get, I don't get lost in the mix if you want to keep watching my videos. Okay, that's everything. Now I'm going to get into the reading. Hello, Gemini. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. It does help my channel, but more importantly, it circulates the video so that other Geminis can get the messages that they're guided to get here. I want to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you. Okay, so those of you that it doesn't completely resonate with, please take what does and leave the rest behind. Um, I want to thank everyone for all of your support, whether it's buying the decks that I've created or purchasing the extended videos, leaving comments, doing a thumbs up, any and all support. I do read your comments. I love to read your comments. I don't have time to respond to everybody, but I do read all the comments. Okay, so thank you. I really appreciate it. This video is going to be Spirit's way of letting you know that you are aligned and about to get lucky, apparently. Now, keep in mind that time is fluid, okay? So some of you are at that place where you are aligned and you are about to get lucky. Others of you, already there. And then again, others, not quite there yet. But you'll know which one you are. Because um, you'll resonate with some of the things here. And you won't resonate with some of the things. Which means you still have work to do to get to that place of being totally aligned. Okay. Now we're going to start off with three cards over here. These are going to be, over this way, are going to be your messages from Spirit. And all the decks are listed below. Click on the title of this video. It will drop down my description box and you'll see the decks there. Also, the link to the extended will be down there. This is Motivation Manifesto and it says, There is light all around. There is much to be grateful for in this seemingly dark world. And so all we must do is pull our gaze from the shadow and look to the ocean of divine light and grace in which we are blessed to live. It's about getting to that place. You've, you've done the work, Gemini. Those of you that are aligned and about to get lucky, you've done the work. You've done the work. You see the positive rather than the negative. That's what this message is all about. It's all about looking past what isn't working to see what is working and, and staying hopeful and positive about the future. Okay. Now, this is Soul's Journey, and we've got the Blame card. I accept responsibility for my well-being. You're here, too, if you're aligned. You're not blaming anyone. You're not pointing the finger at anyone. If something goes wrong in your life, you understand at this point in time that it's you've attracted it. One way or another, you've attracted the the issues or the challenges to yourself. And when you do that, you know how to not do it anymore, right? This card has not come up in this deck yet. This is the Power of Surrender Oracle deck. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. This is about feeding your soul. Again, if you're aligned, this is what you're doing. You're following your heart. You're following your passion. You're doing what your soul wants you to do. You're doing what you want to do. You know? 
You're not doing what everyone else thinks you should do or wants you to do. I forgot to turn my light on. Okay. This is Star Tarot. And your first card out. Ooh, nice. I'm not sure I've seen the Queen of Pentacles in this deck yet. But that's what you've got. You are about to get so lucky because she is nourished. She does not want for anything. She's got nourishment. She's got finances. She's got happiness, joy. She's grounded. She's taken care of. She does not lack for too much, I'll tell you that. And she's got very unique friends. She's got a little doe on her lap. She's got a little cub, a bear cub down here. She's got snails. She's got beauty all around her. She's got hearts all around her. You are headed for beauty. Great beauty. Ace of Swords. Clarity. Truth. Your truth, Gemini. Standing in your truth. <laughs> Following your passion. Doing what it is that you love to do and you want to do. You're piercing. Okay, so this is very interesting. Thank you, Spirit. This is interesting because look at... Um, in the seemingly dark world. So here's the dark world. And so all we must do is pull our gaze from the shadow and look to the ocean of divine light and grace. So this is piercing the darkness with the light is what I'm hearing for you for the message for this card. You are going to be and have been, I'm sure, doing that. Seeing the light where it seems dark. Finding the silver lining in the dark clouds. Ten of Swords, yeah, it's bringing you to an end. This is an end of a cycle in your life. This is, you know, the Ten of Swords is, this looks like Jesus on the cross. He died so we could all live. You're letting something die so that you can truly live. Now, I'm not talking <laughs> death in 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 the real way i'm talking a superficial death i'm talking about an ego death of some kind or just some kind of ending in your life so that you can stop the bleeding that's a bleeding heart that's somebody who's who suffered a whole lot of pain and that's no more that is no more that's coming to a close because you are seeing the positive in all. You're not allowing the darkness to affect you anymore. And you won't have to. You're going to have so much beauty headed your way. Okay, now you've got the Princess of Cups. This is the Page of Cups in this deck. Again, look at the animals around her. Look at the size of that cup. You've got porpoises here that are all about prosperity and luck. You've got a turtle. They're all about longevity, but also about good fortune and luck. <laughs> you are about to get lucky, Gemini. And it could be in love because you've got this page of cups here, and that is someone announcing their feelings. But it can also be all about you being in that place of just high-flying feelings of love, you know, where you just feel so good during the day. You just find yourself walking around saying, I love my life. I love my work. I love where I live. I love everything about my life. I feel like that's where you're headed. But again, you could be headed for a very special partnership too. Ooh, bottom of the deck, part of the overall energy, tower. This is a good tower, Gemini. This is a good tower. It's going to crack this tower open. And I want you to look at how dark everything is. 
all around here. It's all dark. The lightning comes in and cracks this tower and is going to break it apart. But look at what's coming down through all this light. The sun's coming up over here. This is going to open everything up so wide. Now we get to go a little bit deeper and see what's coming. Okay, so now we're going to get some Light Seers cards. Okay, so on the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, yes, you've got the Ace of Swords again. But in this deck, look at what it represents. This is climbing. This is a spiral staircase. You are ascending. You are climbing to higher heights. Absolutely. You are being elevated. You are gaining psychic and intuitive abilities here. The spiral staircase, for me, it represents your ascension because that's what it is. It's not a straight up. It's we go around as we climb. And that's why as you're climbing, if you're over here, well, let's say you're over here and you start to climb, you think, ooh, I'm, I'm excelling. I'm doing things. Oh, wait a minute. I can see that again, what I saw when I was here. But you're higher. You will keep seeing things will keep coming back around but you see them in a different light because you've been raised, raised up, right? Like I said, the Queen of Pentacles, she does not want for much and you're not going to either, but you are going to have the ability to follow your passion, follow your intuition, because like I said, you're, you're ascending, you're being raised to higher heights. Now on top of the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords, you've got the Two of Pentacles. This is all about everything being up in the air, out of balance, out of whack, no more. Because with that Ten of Swords, that's the message you've got, no more. You are about to have clarity. Things are not going to be up in the air anymore. Things are going to be very solid, very stabilized for you. You're going to know exactly what's going on, where it's going, and how to get to it or how to avoid it. The up-leveling, the intuitive abilities. Okay, now on the Ten of Swords and the Princess of Cups, you've got, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning, and it's turning in your favor, Gemini. It is moving you toward this, this lucky, good for, like, it, this is all about good fortune. This is destiny. You are being set on the path to your destiny, your life's purpose your good luck, your good fortune. Look at, she's got a, a thing of dice around her neck. Take a risk. Take a risk. You will not, you will not regret it. And again, I want to point out, she's got white energy coming up here and dark energy coming up here. You're moving out of the dark because you choose to see positive where there's dark because this sits on the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is good. Ten of Swords, not so good. But you're choosing to see it from a place of positivity, which is what's moving you forward. Bottom of this deck, part of your overall energy now combined with the Tower is the Knight of Pentacles. That is your Tower moment. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. So if you feel, if you felt like everything is moving painfully slow in your life, it's about to get real fast. Things are going to start moving very quickly, very soon, Gemini. And that's going to be your tower moment. It's just going to be something so unexpected and shocking, but in a good way. Okay, now we're going to get some Gaia Oracle cards. This could be your person, Gemini. I should have said that in the beginning. Queen of Pentacles. I wasn't getting that, that energy around it, but for some of you it could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Okay. Let's 
it's interesting how the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Cups are flanking the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. It's as though you had to go through this process of turning the dark into something bright and shiny before you could come together with this person, if that's what it is for you. Like I said, I think that's for some of you. I'm not sure how many, though. Okay, on top of the Ace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, you've got card number 11. That is a soul path number. And like I said, rising above, clarity, freedom, solution. Absolutely. And look at where it sits. Right below the Ace of Swords. That is all about clarity. And it's going to bring freedom. But you are rising above because of the Ace of Swords. This one especially. But this one too, because it's piercing the darkness. You are going to be able to see things that you haven't seen up to this point. That could be your tower. But like I said, it's in a good way, right? Okay, so on the Two of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, you have apprehension, moving out into the world, doubt and fear. Absolutely. When this tower hits, I'm sure it's going to whack you across the head. But take a step back because looking at it from this same place of seeing the positive in it, it's going to help you move with it, okay? Because to begin with, it might look like something not so great, but it is going to take you to an amazing place. Don't worry about that. You are moving in a good, great direction, actually. You're moving toward luck, prosperity, abundance. Okay, let's get an Island Time Wellness card. That's why. <laughs> Rising above, you've got clarity and solution, and then you've got apprehension. That is, that's a tug of war. That's going in two different directions. And it is because of the tower. And the tower is this. Wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Someone is about to ask you to marry them, or you them. And that falls right underneath the Two of Pentacles, the uncertainty, the everything up in the air. Could be that you gained clarity about something and it caused you a lot of pain because maybe you read something into it that wasn't there. And that's where this clarity comes in. And it you rise above it and you realize, or maybe it was an ending, but it needed to happen so that you could get to this place. It's going to be different for all of you. You know what it is for you. Wow, that is so cool. Okay. Ooh, the energy. You know, the energy was very blasé in the beginning of your reading, but as I go through it, it's picking up, it's increasing, it's getting amazing. So it's almost like your journey to this state of being aligned and about to get lucky was that very blasé to begin with and then it really starts to escalate and take you to something so amazingly beautiful okay synchronicity oracle yeah 144 when i created this deck i'd been seeing a bunch of different numbers quite frequently but randomly and i wanted to know what they meant so i asked my guides and whatever i got is what i put on the cards 144 means live your purpose without dimming your light that's this so now you've got it twice gemini this is about your purpose i don't know if you're aware of what your life's purpose is but i always thought it was a thing and it, it is a thing but it's not a thing it's not one career or one path that you take it's every path that you take that you love to take so your life's purpose is all about what you love. Experiencing all the things you want to experience, not the things you're told to experience. 
or what others think you should experience. This is all about you moving through life, experiencing the things that you really want to experience or your soul wants to experience. Okay, I want to get you a Divine Doors card. There will be a door on the front side of the card and on the back side, a message for you from Spirit. So let's see what door is about to open for you. Okay, here's your door. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm, makes me think of spring. And it says, the Odyssey. Take in the beauty of the country lands and botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. See, it's about experience. You want to explore and you want to experience, but you want to do the things that you want to do, the things that you love and want to explore. Following your passion or your heart, however you want to word it. Okay, anything else, angels? What else do we need? Feel like we need one of these manifest soulmate oracle cards this is going to be a message from or about your soulmate okay So this could be, like I said earlier, maybe some of you did walk away from a relationship or it ended because this says, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. That's a brutal message, very brutal. So I don't know who that's meant for out there, but it's true. Somebody that doesn't understand your worth and and how lucky they are to be with you gemini then they don't deserve to be with you you should let them go i want to get one more card because that was just kind of not a very nice message in my mind so let's get a soul coaching oracle card for you because this is going to be a message from your soul it's what your soul wants you to know right now Oh, that's not very good shuffling. Yep. And was it in this card? No, it wasn't this. I uh, this card, freedom, rising above, clarity, freedom, and solution. You've got the freedom card. Boundless freedom surges through me. Look at that. This is what you're headed for, Gemini. Freedom. Very cool. Freedom is an amazing thing. Amazing. And this could represent that relationship that your soul is talking about here or your soul mate sorry and you not being afraid to lose someone who really doesn't want to be with you anyway they don't appreciate your value your worth this this was a really good reading i want to ask your guides and spirit what further they can give you information-wise moving forward, especially about the wedding rings. We're going to do that in the extended. Those of you that are going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not going over, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. <laughs>